Donald Trump got away with murder is the title of this video. You want to know my opinion about the impeachment trial? How I felt about it? Well, stay tuned and I will see you on the next page. Good morning, everybody. How is everybody doing out there? <laughs> uh, this is Elizabeth Wood, Wood Education Blog 43. Well, <clears throat> uh, Donald Trump has gotten away with murder. And I mean it. I, I was in my kitchen this morning, fixing breakfast for myself, and I wanting to cry. This whole trial, impeachment trial, was a, was, was nothing. Got nowhere, and Donald Trump got away with it. He has chosen two lawyers. He has chosen his, his defense lawyers, and he probably threaten them or bribe them, whatever. We all saw on January 6th, it was televised. We saw what happened and we heard what Donald Trump said. We saw his speech before he went down to the Capitol with these mod, this terrorist group to siege the Capitol to try to kill or assassinate Vice President Pence, Nancy Pelosi, and other top officials in the White House, in the Capitol. We all saw it. This impeachment trial was rushed. There was no time to bring in witnesses ask questions about the about the case. This is the rush through thing. And in the back of my mind, I keep saying to myself, that's a wrong trial. And it isn't the impeachment. It, it should be a trial of criminal activities that Donald Trump did during his lifetime, when he was a real estate broker, when he had had all the way through, the Democrat knew about that. He knew. They knew about his criminal activities. That's why they started the impeachment before he even got to be the president for the last four years. Donald Trump has a severe narcissistic dis personality disorder, and it exploded. It, it really came to the point where he had to order these mobs, these home terrorist group, as I call it, to siege the capital. And his words, and we all witnessed it. Everybody watched it. I watched it here on YouTube, on one of the national news uh, reporting. We all heard what Donald Trump said. And it was worked up worked up. Ever since the election, when he lost, he would not concede. Donald Trump would not concede. He really believed that the election is blank. I can't say the word because my video will get taken down. 
So I want to be saying blank in, that, in place of that word. I, don't, I cannot use it on this video. What angers me is two guys, two defense of Donald Trump, come forward and drop the case. They had to have two-thirds of a boy in order to indict him, in order to put him away, in order to convict him. You know, Donald Trump is mixing with these evangelical church cult. They keep pushing the envelope. They keep saying, they keep saying, President will be elected. President will be our president for the next four years. They keep saying, God told us that. God told us that. Baloney. God did not tell them that. Their imagination is running overboard. What angers me more is that Donald Trump got away with murder. But not with God. Nope. Judgment is coming pretty soon on Donald John Donald John Trump. He's gonna be judged and Jesus is going to point his finger at him. He's going to be judged. Donald Trump can't get away. Not from God, not from Jesus. He can't get away. I am angry. You can tell I am angry. The first impeachment, Donald Trump did not. <clears throat> Donald Trump was subpoenaed to come to the trial. He refused to come to the trial. He was somewhere somewhere else. Guess what? Acquittal. His defense team, acquittal. And this time, the same thing, acquittal. 57 guilty and 43 not guilty. Now, how can you answer that? Where do you get the acquittal out of those votes that the senators put in? Where? I can't understand this trial business here. I cannot understand why they had to have two thirds of a of, of a vote in order to turn over Donald Trump for indictment to charge him with the criminal activities that he has performed during his four year term as our president. I cannot understand why we had to. <laughs> this election was a bomb. So many million people, uh, Americans, have voted for Biden. Now, my prognosis as to what is going to happen next. I wish I could talk to Mary Trump and learn more about her, her uncle. I am I am going to order that book. Too much is not enough. 
It's all about Donald Trump and his mental illness. He has other mental illness other than an artistic personality disorder. It is severe and it's getting worse as time goes on. I don't know of anybody in my life can get away with things like Donald Trump does. He lies, he threatens, and he bribes. That's what he does. That's how he gets his way all the time. By golly, he probably had threatened the defense attorneys on that trial or bribed them. I don't know what he did, but it was a, it's like a circus there. The impeachment is a circus. There's too many clowns in it. Accusing the House representative not taking the dates and twisting them around or not really report all of it. And they highlighted some of it just the way they wanted to present the case. No matter what, that insurrection happened. And we all saw it. Millions of people had their eyes glued to their television, had their eyes glued to the social media, and they are watching it alive and before their eyes. Five people was murdered. I call it, I call it manslaughter because it's not premeditated. And it just happened that they got killed. And one guy, one officer, got squeezed in the door. And he was in pain. Two officers committed suicide. One officer was killed. The lady who, who lead the, I don't know if she lead the mob, she passed away. I never, ever in my life, I see a, a mentally ill man pull this off. Come on. Come on, let's fight. Come on. Come on, I'll go down with you. I'll walk with you to the Capitol. And we'll fight. We'll stand up. We're fighting. Fine. It's screwing around in my head. That's the wrong way to fight. These people, these supposed to be Christians, with their things holding in their hands, walking down Pennsylvania Avenue, right down to the Capitol. I can't believe that he gets away with murder, Donald Trump. But he's not going to get away with it with God. God knows Donald J. Trump's heart. And he is going to be judged. He is going to be judged for what he's done. Now I'm in hearing. And I think it's in Daniel. Or is it in the GDO? I forgot what book it was in the Bible. There is a court in heaven. And the Father in heaven is the judge. Jesus is the judge. And by golly, 
It's going to be an indictment from heaven being put on Donald J. Trump. Let it be. I just wanted to cry. I was fishing my breakfast and I said, I want to cry. Why? Why do I want to cry? Because I feel for Donald Trump. He got mixed up in an evangelical cult church. And they keep pushing the envelope. Keep saying that Donald Trump is going to be the president for the next four years. And when their prophecy did not come true, when Biden won the election, they are scrambling, these evangelical church, they are scrambling for an excuse as to why, as to why that the prophecy did not come true. I'll tell you right now why it did not come true. It's because they did not hear from God. God doesn't talk to us Christians that way. I'll tell you how God speaks to us, and I'm going to bring it right out. There it is. You open up the scriptures, and you read the scriptures, you meditate upon the scriptures, and whatever commandment that God gives, we do. We obey. Here we are. Here are the scriptures. God speaks to us through the Bible, not from up there. I think the whole thing is demonic. This insertion is by Satan the devil. He's behind it. When I watch what was going on in those videos that these, these terrorist groups Domestic terrorist group. The, the, the word that comes to my mind is demonic. It is demonic. they got demons in them. They have hatred like nobody's business. They, they go through the hallways and say, Nancy, where are you? Pants, we're going to hang you. We got a gal out there to hang you. Because I didn't hear that. I just made that one up. You know, things like that. They, they go through the halls of the Capitol. Nancy, where are you? Yeah, they, that I heard. This is demonic, people. This is of Satan, the devil. Yes. This is shaking the devil in them. They got demons in them. Now, the word that came to my mind when I watched that insurrection, I said, demons, 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 demonic, demonic, demonic. Boom, right there. What angers me is Donald Trump is getting away with murder. And if he gets put on trial, for his criminal act in the civil court or in the high supreme court. He's going to get away with it. He, he's going to get subpoenaed and he won't show up to these trials. That's how he gets away with it. Then he hired people that will go along with him. He will bribe them or he will threaten them. That's what he would do. That's how he gets away with it. He lies like nobody's business. And he accuses the news media of fake news. I don't think so. I don't believe that one minute. That the, that the, the news media like NBC, CBS, and other news media, I don't believe they're fake news. They've been... For, Broadcasting news for years. I don't 
He's the first president that ever says that the news is fake. He is conceited. He won't concede. And the and the insertion. The, the to certify the vote was end up having the terrorist group, this domestic terrorist group, going up to the Capitol, breaking in, destroying property, trespassing. Now we get put in jail. Yep. They're arresting them right now. They're finding them. They're from all from all over the United States. They are. I am angry. I am angry as hell. I feel sorry for Donald Trump because this is mental illness. I wish he would come to the Lord, really come to the Lord, and get away from these false evangelical churches. They are a cult, and they have demons in them. They falsely prophesize the event that comes about, they say it's going to come about, and they claim they hear from God. God says this, God says that. They did not hear from God at all, like I said. The only way God speaks to us is through His Holy Word. And, and you know, things gonna <coughs> things gonna get turned back. What Biden is doing is bringing back what Donald Trump took away from Obama. When Obama, Barack Obama, was president. We all got uh, President Obama. He had a health care system going. Get everybody is on a health care. And they're getting care. <coughs> and it's called Obamacare. I, I, it just, this trial, I watched it all. This trial is nothing but a circus. Vegas, bogus. It's nothing but a circus. There's no time to, you know, this is a rush through. It's, it's like going to McDonald's and saying, I want this and that. And you go zoom right to the, to the first window, you pay for your McDonald's, or when you go to the next window, you get your McDonald's, and off you go. And that's how the uh, trial was treated. It was a rush through, through trial. And during the midterm, probably 2022, Donald Trump will come right back, and he'll start playing painting for the election of 2024. No, Donald Trump cannot accept the loss of the election. He makes excuses. He accuses the blank election. Irregular, I can't say the word. There's flaws and, and mistakes made in the election. Sure, the machine's going to mess up. And, and, the, and the, bowl, the, the papers going into the machine get ripped up or get something. So the pollsters, they would take these damaged uh, vote, uh, voting paper and go back to the table and they make a copy of what got damaged. 
then we load it into the machine. That's what was going on. And the reason for the internet is to report the votes, the total votes, to the main election headquarters. Got to be a way of, of reporting. That's what that was all about. When people don't sign the the election paper, they go and put your signature on it. Sure, it's going to get dumped. It's going to go out and get shredded in the truck. It's going to get put in the dump. Because they did not, they did not uh, sign their signature to the po to the voting paper. Sure, there are irregular, there are mistakes being made in counting the votes, and as far as using. Uh, some voting machines and Dominion voting machines, I don't think they, are, they have been manipulated to, to make one party win over another. John, Donald John Trump will have his day in court in heaven. The Father in heaven will judge him. No way he can lie or cheat or bribe or do any of these things to the Father in heaven because the Father in heaven can see right through Donald John Trump. His day is coming. He's not getting away with it from God. No way. Now, the election, in my opinion, is disrupt. It's corrupt. I don't I stopped voting two years ago, four years ago. I stopped voting. Knowing that this is going on. Get people voting? No. I don't know what to say. We got a president, a former president, that can't take being a loser. He doesn't want to leave the Oval Office. He wants to be the president for the next four years. So guess what he's doing in Florida? He's forming his own government. He still thinks that he is still a, the president, that he's running as a president down in Florida. That's why they say there's two presidents running. Two presidents. It's not going to last. I don't know. We we'll have to see what the future holds for us. And another name that keep popping in my mind is that outside interference is what's causing all this uproar. This disrupting and this chaos. There are foreign people in this in the United States masquerading as American, and they are trying to push to take over the United States. This is what I see is happening. This is happening. <clears throat> without us knowing it.
I believe that is what's going on. And I think Donald John Trump is the person who is trying to <clears throat> turn that over to a communist or to a foreign country. He's trying to run everybody. He thinks he's the king. He's anointed by God. Well, I am not going to um, I'm going to close this by saying that, that I am going to start a Zoom meeting. Um, I'm getting it set up. I'm learning how to use Zoom so we can have a Zoom meeting. Uh, for those of you who are interested in, in joining me, and we'll be talking about subjects that, that, um, that we like to talk about that impresses us on our minds. And I'm going to be using my Bible at times to to bring out a point as to what we what we're going to talk about. I'm on Zoom. I am I'm learning how to use Zoom and when I'm ready to, to do my first meeting, I will let you know. Okay? Well, <clears throat> this is Eva Elizabeth Ward, Wood Education Block 43, saying so long, and I will see you here the next time on YouTube and the World Wide Web.